Psalm 68. God shall arise, his enemies shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away. As wax melts before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. But the righteous shall be glad, they shall exult before God, they shall be jubilant with joy. Sing to God, sing praises to his name, lift up a song to him who rides through the deserts. His name is the Lord, exult before him. Father of the fatherless and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. God settles the solitary in a home. He leads out the prisoners to prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a parched land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, Selah, the earth quaked, the heavens poured down rain, before God, the one of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel. Rain in abundance, O oh God, you shed abroad. You restored your inheritance as it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. The Lord gives the word. The women who announce the news are a great host. The kings of the armies, they flee, they flee. The women at home divide the spoil. Though you men lie among the sheepfolds, the wings of a dove covered with silver, its pinions with shimmering gold. When the Almighty scatters kings there, let snow fall on Zalman. O mountain of God, mountain of Bashan, O many-peaked mountain, mountain of Bashan. Why do you look with hatred, O many-peaked mountain, at the mount that God desired for his abode, yes, where the Lord will dwell forever? The chariots of God are twice ten thousand, thousands upon thousands. The Lord is among them. Sinai is now in the sanctuary. You ascended on high, leading a host of captives in your train, and receiving gifts among men, even among the rebellious, that the Lord God may dwell there. Blessed be the Lord, who daily bears us up, God is our salvation, Selah. Our God is a God of salvation, and to God, the Lord, belong deliverances from death. But God will strike the heads of his enemies, the hairy crown of him who walks in his guilty ways. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan, I will bring them back from the depths of the sea, that you may strike your feet in their blood, that the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from the foe. Your procession is seen, O God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary, the singers in front, the musicians last. Between them, virgins playing tambourines. Bless God in the great congregation, the Lord, O you who are of Israel's fountain. There is Benjamin, the least of them, in the lead. The princes of Judah in their throng, the princes of Zebulun, the princes of Naphtali. Summon your power, O God, the power, O God, by which you have worked for us. Because of your temple at Jerusalem, kings shall bear gifts to you. Rebuke the beasts that dwell among the reeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the people. Trample underfoot those who lust after tribute. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Nobles shall come from Egypt. Cush shall hasten to stretch out her hands to God. O kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Sing praises to the Lord. Selah. To him who rides in the heavens, the ancient heavens, behold, he sends out his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God whose majesty is over Israel, and whose power is in the skies. Awesome is God from his sanctuary, the God of Israel. He is the one who gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today is Psalm 68. One other thing that we learn from the Bible is that God is good. Now this could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. To those who believe in God and stand right before God, it is a great thing. But to those who refuse and reject God is a terrible thing and you will face the terrible consequences. In verses 1 through 3 it tells us that God shall arise, his enemies shall be scattered, and all those who hate him shall flee before him. As a smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away. As a wax melt before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. But the righteous shall be glad, they shall exult before God, and they shall be jubilant with joy. The rest of the chapter shows how powerful God is in His dealing with those who are for Him or against Him. And to those who are for Him, they will sing praise to His name and they will experience the everlasting joy. But to those who is against Him will be completely destroyed. The same is true with our life. We could trust in God and Jesus and share God's eternal glory and sing praise to Him 
or to those who oppose God will face the fatal condemnation and God's judgment. With that, I just want you to know that those who believe in the Lord, those who trust in Jesus, you share eternal glory and that you share the eternal joy. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We believe that you are good. And to those who stand right before you, Lord, that we will face, Lord, eternal joy and that we will continuously praise you and the praise to your name. But Lord, to those who oppose you, Lord, I pray that they will return to you and they will truly trust on you so that they will not be facing the judgment of their own rejection. Father, we thank you that we could believe in you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.